Hi, this is Terry. Welcome back to my channel. And today is January 1st, so Happy New Year. It's 2021. For those of you who are hoping that things would be magically different today, um, I hope you're feeling it. I hope you're feeling good to say bye bye 2020 and uh, hello to 2021 and whatever 2021 is going to bring us. Uh, today's topic is uh, twofold. One, um, I'd like to reflect a little bit on the last year, uh, the first year of the YouTube channel. Uh, we released the very first one on January 1st, 2020, and I, <laughs> I watched it today. Uh, it was a little painful uh, to watch. We had, uh, my husband had just painted the backdrop. We had, <coughs> bless you, we had nothing, uh, nothing up. And um, I scripted the what I was going to rewrite, or I scripted what I was going to say. Obviously, I'm not doing that anymore. And I was kind of reading it. And it was very choppy because um, Ray, a.k.a. Finn, uh, you know, had to, had to, had to fix it. Uh, I introduced Ray, my, 16, my then 15-year-old, my now 16-year-old. But Ray really does want to be called Finn. Finn. My name is Finn. Um, uh, oh, I was going to tell you, I'm going to start correcting you when you call me Ray. I am really going to try to call you Finn. Thank you. I appreciate that. So anyway, so, uh, what's in with Finn may become a new segment. What's uh, in with Finn? Check in with Finn? I don't know. We got to come up I with... I thought it was check in with Finn. Um, anyway, we're going to do something. A couple of things that were interesting. So my very first video I was in last year's pajamas. Uh, this year I decided to put on some clean pajamas for this video. Uh, I talked about how we are going to try to evolve over time, uh, like with the backdrop, with the lighting, makeup, hair, whatever. I just couldn't even be bothered. So you've got lion's mane hair today. Um, yesterday we did go to Best Buy and we got a new tripod. I ordered some new lighting. Um, I've changed up my desk. And so, uh, Ray got Finn. I'm sorry. Finn got Final Cut Pro. Yeah. So, and we'll be using a different, uh, camera moving forward. Um, going to try to do some more structured videos, try to keep them to 10 minutes. Um, rather well, than the rambling 18 <laughs> to 29 minutes. Well, so last year, you know, in the, the video, one of the goals was to produce, uh, to release one video a week that was going to be eight to 12 minutes long. And we did two videos a week and they've been 15 to 20 minutes. Well, I would say they're probably, the average is probably in the 12 to 14 minute range. Mm, Late, I'd say closer to 16. Lately they've 18. gotten a little bit, no, lately they've gotten longer, but they were not always there. Uh, some stats about the last year, we now have 242 subscribers. I'm adding two subscribers a day, which is, um, fabulous. So thank you. Welcome to all of my new subscribers. Uh, it looks like we have over almost 8,000 views of the videos and, um, about 550 hours of view time, um, or watch time. Once I hit a thousand hours, I think then I hit something else. So hopefully this next year we will get closer to a thousand hours, maybe by mid year. And then, uh, I might be able to monetize the channel. Uh, I don't really know. Uh, pretty, but that's pretty exciting. Uh, a couple of the other things from the video last year, I talked about being, um, a scaredy cat in launching the channel and wanting everything to be perfect. And, uh, we've let go of that <laughs> a lot. And, uh, it's, it's actually pretty easy to do the videos now. I don't have a problem, uh, with, you know, sometimes I, ha I have a challenge. I'm challenged in coming up with what the topic is. Um, but Hopefully we're going to structure things moving forward and it'll be a little bit easier. Last year I, you know, had knew, I knew about TikTok, but I wasn't on it. Now I'm on it. And she um, sounds like a goddamn advertisement. Anyway, uh, last night at, in conversation with one of our neighbors, Jessica from food foundation, if you haven't seen her channel, it's great. She does all sorts of food stuff and yoga stuff. It's great. Um, Mom sounded like 
a commercial for TikTok and encouraging Jessica to start doing TikTok. Well, that's because what she wants to do is release like a daily one minute type of a video for her followers who are doing um, a detox program this month. Uh, she's a nutritional therapist and she wanted it to be just really natural and raw. And I'm like, just do it on TikTok. It's easy. And then you can push that out to other platforms. It's a lot easier than I think YouTube. Um, you know, I guess if she wants to do a Facebook live, she can do that or Instagram, Instagram live or something like that. But um, I just think it's a super easy medium to work with. One of the other things um, I talked about being afraid of is putting down my 2020 goals. Um, was that, you know, <laughs> foreshadowing in terms of, you know, difficulty. Um, in this year, uh, my I did that a couple weeks ago. I did the 2020 reflection, the 2021 planning, and that's all set up. And tomorrow is going to be my first uh, 2021 uh, weekly goal recap of the year that I do in, um, I have set up as cases in my CRM, which is high rise. And then I, every week I go through and I do an update on that. So, um, it's just funny what a difference a year makes, even with the crazy year that we've had. Um, what's an eight word description? Oh, geez. <laughs> I'm going for eight words instead of five this time. Name or description of your experience with your goals this year. Uh, eight word description of experience with my goals. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I just, I'm just going to say consistency. I, I'm going to give you one. I was consistent. I was consistent with uh, my weekly wrap ups. I was consistent with my habits. I was, there was, there was a surprising amount of consistency uh, given the wackadoodle year that we had. So, Solid. Um, What's your favorite habit? Or the uh, one that's been most impactful? Uh, well, my favorite habit is daily French on Duolingo. I'm at 345 days in a row of Duolingo with French, which Have I'm pretty... Have you found it helpful? To some extent, yeah, I do. So, uh, oh, I forgot. Um, in the stats... Um, one of the videos, the um, uh, Moms Make Holidays Magical video, somehow got flagged, and um, on Wednesday I got a notification to say that it violated the community guidelines. I'll go ahead and put a link in here. Um, if you, you haven't watch watched it, contraband video. It, I actually, I, I watched it yesterday. It's controversial. And it was it's... boring more than anything else. I'm like, what was it about this? Um, it does have over, it's got like 320 views on it. So it is one of the, the top, um, viewed, uh, videos for my channel. Uh, my neighbor seems to think that I got doxxed and that somebody just decided, was pissed at me and decided to report it. Uh, the kids think that, yeah, internet people can be assholes and that could be why. Um, but I watched it. I'm like, I can't even imagine what's even remotely controversial in here. It violated, um, scam, it was a scam, spam, or deceptive practice. I'm not selling anything. I'm not promoting anything. I'm sharing my life, my experience, and some of the research, but... It was all legit, so it was very random. Anyway, hopefully I don't have any more of those because with multiple strikes, then you can get kicked off. And I'm like, Ugh, I'm just not looking forward to that. Um, which brings me to the second thing that I wanted to talk about, which is, um, you know, it's the end of the year. I was really hoping to take time off between uh, Christmas and uh, Monday the 4th just to purge, um, clean up, you know, uh, clean up the mess that is my life. And the um, office has been given a bit of a, a looks, start on that. It looks better. It looks better. It's coming it's, along. It's still chaotic, but it's less disorganized. And, and yeah. Chaotic. So, um, but the thing is, is I'm exhausted. I just haven't had the energy. Plus I spent three days, uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, updating Microsoft money for our personal stuff, updating QuickBooks for my professional stuff so I could do some tax planning. And I realized Yay, that taxes. accounts hadn't been updated since uh, May or June. Um, it used to be that my I'd pay my kids to do that, but my kids won't do the data entry. And it's so, so boring. But it's easy money. Mm. So anyway, so I had a lot to catch up on. And that Maybe was three I'll days. That would be so nice. That would get me time That's back. my Christmas present to you. You gave me a beautiful Christmas present. No. 
Yeah, okay, be... that's my early birthday present to you. That would be great, and I will pay you to do that. So uh, anyway, so I lost three days to that. Um, it did feel good to get all of that done. And then uh, Ray and I had to hit Best Buy and, uh, I'm sorry, Finn. Um, uh, and I had to go hit Best Buy to go potentially buy some stuff to have some additional write-offs because I did okay this year from a consulting perspective. And we got a few things, but not everything. And... Uh, the problem with being small is that if you get a Fitbit, it's giant, and then it's uncomfortable, and so I'm going to be returning that, unfortunately. Yeah, well, what I might do with that credit is I might get a new Apple Watch, because um, I think it might be time. And then maybe You have an Apple Watch. I said get another one, upgrade to the latest one, maybe. What's wrong with the one you have? It's, you know, new technology. So, uh, anyway, so I just, I'm tired. I'm still helping Adam, trying to get him to switch schools. He did his um, two essays today for Loyola Marymount or LMU uh, on Saturday the 2nd, which is when you will probably see this. We are going to have a few more things to do on that, and then he leaves to go back to San Diego on Sunday. Yes, Finn, I see that, okay? No, well, the thing is, I don't have my glasses on, so I can't read the time, so okay, I have to at, literally lean forward and squint very Okay, exactly. we're at 11 minutes. I will, I will wrap it up. Just sh- slow your roll. No, speed up your roll. <sighs> Okay, is that it? I think uh, I think that's about it for today. Um, so I hope you're doing well. I hope you were able to take some time. I hope you were able to relax. Um, I Sleep wanted in to. You, um, okay, if you, stayed you up keep late. interrupting. I can't wrap this up. Just an FYI. So well, people uh, like me apparently. Okay. Um, I wanted to or nap. Or like our interaction fucking annoying <laughs> I wanted to write I wanted to nap I wanted to purge I wanted to clean you I wanted still to do all those things mother uh not before Sunday so and there just there just isn't enough time in every day so um I think I'm just gonna have to extend into January a little bit and uh you know pace my re-entry back into uh work life um although I still have work to do this weekend. So anyway, hope you were able to get a little bit of a break. I hope you are feeling good as we move into 2021. Uh, I am so happy that you are here. Thank you for being here. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sharing. And um, with that, oh, I'm. by the way, in looking back at the very first video and the very first video we had the um, our ending thing, and I think I'm just the most proud of that. Well, and the fact that this is video 104. Um, so anyway, thanks. Take care. Uh, let me know how you're doing. Did you get a chance to take some time um, to relax, to recharge, uh, to gear up for the gear up for January? Would love to hear it. And with that, let go of perfection, take some risks, and above all else, have some fun.